How's it going everybody? John McLennan here and in today's video I'm going to teach you how to play the night time is the right time as recorded by Ray Charles. This is a down home blues in the key of E flat, a great piano key. So we're going to work this out on guitar. We're going to use three main chords here, an E flat 7, an A flat 7, and a B flat 7. I'm going to break it down for you step by step. But before we get started, I really appreciate you checking out the links below. If you're interested in soloing, like what I was doing at the beginning of this video, check out my book. It's called Melodic Expressions. You can get it completely for free in the link below. All right, with that said, let's dive into this lesson. Let's break down how to play the night time is the right time as recorded by Ray Charles. This is a classic blues in the key of E flat. Now the song starts off with an intro on the last four bars of the 12 bar blues, which is a super common thing. A lot of blues songs just start out on the last four bars. We're gonna do a little turnaround kind of figure and then we're gonna go into the song. So I'll break down the intro first. It sounds like this. <laughs> Using three main shapes here for this song, what we call the one, four, and five. And these are our just three note blues chords. They're great rhythm chords. We're gonna start on this B flat seven, which is six, six, seven. And I'm only gonna play these three strings. Now I'm using second, third finger, and pinky here. But you could also use these fingers if you want. This is just what feels comfortable for me. So we're gonna play one and, and then we're gonna slide up to the 10th fret, play that twice, then the eighth fret on the A string, and then 10, eight. So it's one and two and three and four and. Then we're gonna drop this figure down two frets and play. That's A flat seven, four, four, five. Slide to the eighth fret, six, eight, six. A little slower. So those two chords together This is what we call our 5 chord down to our 4 chord. Then we go to 1. We do our little turnaround figure there. So for the 1 chord I'm playing 6 5 6, starting on the A string. Again, a lot of muting going on with these chords. I'm going to play one and... Then I'm going to do some triplets. I'll start with the third fret of the low E, and then the sixth fret on the G string. So we've got this skip here. And what's going to happen is we're going to have this thing called contrary motion, which is where the bass goes up, but the top line goes down. So it gets a really cool sound. And I'm finishing there on an E flat with a B flat in the bass. So that's six, and then skip a string, five, three. So one and two and a three and a four and a one. And that's bouncing back and forth. Sixth string, third string, sixth string. And then repeat the process. And then here I'll strum. 
Then we walk up A flat, A, B flat. That's just a little classic blues chromatic line. And we'll walk into that E flat seven chord. So it's gonna go. Then we start the top of the blues, and that's where the vocal comes in. So this is all just the intro. Here's what it sounds like played as one piece. Three and four and... Then we're into the verse, and this is what we play for the rest of the tune, just a 12-bar blues groove that goes like this. So we're gonna basically play the same riff, but move it through the changes. So we're gonna play an E flat seven two times, then slide up to 10, then eight, then 10, then back to eight. Just a little rock back and forth, so. That's gonna go four times for our E flat seven, or what we call the one chord. Then we'll move to the four chord. That's gonna be A flat seven, so we'll play that same shape. This time we're gonna slide up to the eighth fret. Six, six, eight, six. Then back to the one chord. Then we'll play the turnaround, which is exactly the same as the intro, but we're gonna leave out that sort of contrary motion turnaround part. We're just gonna play in place of that the E flat seven chord twice. So it's gonna sound like this. So let's try the whole thing. We're gonna play all 12 bars. Be sure to lay back on this. It's really got a laid back groove. I know just playing here without the track, I'm probably playing it just slightly faster, but the actual recording really lays back in the pocket. It's like, imagine it's, it's really late at night, you know, it's the night time is the right time to lay back the pocket. So here, here we go. One, and two, and three, and four, and... <laughs> Have fun practicing. The nighttime is the right time. Be sure to play along with that classic Ray Charles recording. And it really lays back. The groove of this is just a really laid back feel. So practice going along with the recording. Just try and soak it up like a sponge.
After you've done that for a while and you want to work on your soloing, don't forget to download my free book in the description below. It's called Melodic Expressions, and it's got over a hundred licks and exercises in it. Licks over major, minor, and dominant chords. So that'll really help you out with your lead playing. Also, feel free to leave any comments below for future video ideas, things that you would like to see me cover on the channel. I'm posting brand new lessons every single day, so I would love to hear what you would like to see in upcoming videos. Just get that in down below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next lesson.